Hello, friends. Uh, this is Pradeep Shetty here. I'm a Toastmaster and welcome back to the third episode of Nagarbhavi Toastmasters podcast. Here we have a special guest today and uh, uh, this special guest is one of the top leaders in District 121 of uh, the Toastmasters International. He has a rich experience, I would say to be precise, around 14 years of experience in the IT industry. Presently, he's working as a team lead in Accenture, India. He has been with the, the Toastmasters since 2018. So it's approximately, uh, this is his sixth year, sixth or seventh year. And he took almost all club officers role at the club level. Now, he took a different le uh, leadership roles in Toastmasters. And he's presently serving as the logistic manager in District 121. To be precise, uh, there are top eight leaders in every district, and he is one of the leaders in the top eight, right? He is also an outstanding Toastmaster and a pathway, pathway mentor. Along with that, he has award, uh, uh, he has backed many awards, rewards, and recognitions. To be uh, precise, he is the, he is the one of the outstanding Toastmaster award as a pathway mentor, two times, triple crown winner. We will uh, learn more from him about this. He is also a selected distinguished area director and the president Dist distinguished division director. He has won ACE award that is Accenture celebrates excellence award right in the fourth quarter for 2022. Along with that, he is also an aspirant of football. He loves playing, I mean, uh, running marathon, right? He's a good marathon runner. We do see him uh, most of the time in the social media. And he is also into blood donation. So thank you very much, uh, Pandya, Toastmaster Pandya Rajan, sir, for being on this uh, podcast. And we welcome you here. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Pradeep Shetty. Thank you for calling me for this uh, podcast. It's mm -hmm. my pleasure and my privilege to be part of this podcast. Sure. Thank you very much. So let's start with the first question, which normally uh, how we start this podcast is uh, tell us something about uh, your Toastmasters journey in the sense, uh, how did you come across Toastmasters first? Yes. Toastmaster in 2060 onwards i know the word about postmaster from mm -hmm. my in-laws my brother my brother-in-law and my father-in-law both were part of madurai postmaster club so oh, that, wow. that time they suggest me they suggest uh -huh. me to go and meet a uh, uh, madurai postmaster club yeah i went there it was mm -hmm. a nice feeling but there also i did not have that much uh, i feel a little bit hesitate okay uh, and uh, saying us to be take part of that Mm -hmm. Afterwards, what happened in 2018, that appraisal went very bad. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. manager asked me to, I have to improve my communication. He mm -hmm. suggested, why not you can explore Toastmaster. So yeah. finally, I decided this time I have to be a part of Toastmaster. Mm -hmm. I joined Koramangala Toastmaster Club. Mm -hmm. The first, first impression about Toastmaster Club is in Koramangala, it's a very nice. So that my journey started in Koramangala Toastmaster in 2018. So mm -hmm. still, I am the Toastmaster. No, wow, excellent. <laughs> so you started yeah. your journey with Koramangala Toastmasters Club. Yeah, initially you were with, yes. into Madurai and from there you came to know about this Toastmasters, how they work and everything. And after coming here to Bangalore, you joined Koramangala Toastmasters Club. Thank you for that great information. Uh, can you focus on the present uh, you know, the present role which you are playing as a district officer, it's one of the top roles which you're playing as a logistic manager. So can you uh, focus something on that? What's your role and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so currently I am, uh, currently my role is district logistic manager. Uh, this is something uh, completely new new for me. Uh, because this logistic manager, I have to arrange all district 121 related events like district officer training program also if any any uh, events happen so i have to be part of that like finding the venue also that uh, finding that uh, goodies and how i uh, also food arrangement also also have to check with my uh, mother my fellow district officers for their accommodation and other things 
So wow. for, for that, I have to explore a lot of option because this is for our members' money. So we can't spend the money for me. For that, I have to identify the best vendor, cheap and best vendor. At the same time, we can't compromise on the quality. It's really helped me for in my personal life also. Before that, I am I am very I am say to ask bargain to others. Even I never explore more than one option. If if I go for something, I will did not ask anything. Okay, yeah, how much price? I ready to pay. But now, automatically that uh, the analysis started to come. Okay, where is the where I can buy best product for best rate, which will be helpful for everybody. So that is a one great learning for me. Uh, also, from that, I can got chance to meet for all Toastmaster because uh, whenever that awards announcement, I have to connect with for uh, my all other area director, division director, at the same time, the club leaders also. That time, I can understand about their problems and other things also. So this is my current role allows me to uh, explore a lot of things, not only for Toastmaster, beyond the Toastmaster, which helps my, my personal and professional life also. So that is Absolutely. about my current role as a logistic manager. Wow. Yeah. And we also came to know that you are the president for We Are Toastmasters Club and also the treasurer of uh, Nagarbavi Toastmasters Club. So can you explain about this? Because um, I do see that you have taken all the club officers' role. So uh, what's your experience on this, all these uh, different roles you have taken and what you have learned in a short, in short? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think small correction, almost all roles because I still I have to take for VPPR and a secretary. Definitely okay. I will, if any clubs offer, ready to offer next time, I will take that. Uh, so apart from that, I, my journey started I, as the vice president of education in Koramla Toastmaster Club. Uh, okay. Before that, I took for a lot of SCOM. Finally, they told, I think you you, you are right fit for that. My mentors uh, suggest me. Uh, mm -hmm. So the VPE, the, the role, uh, help me to improve my communication confident level because what I understand uh, in Toastmaster communication is nothing on English communication or speaking grammar. It's like it's how you can be confident on what you are going to speak. Mm -hmm. So that is a great learning I learned from Toastmaster because sometimes I used to struggle even my my uh, mother tongue Tamil also for communicate because. Yes. I, I was not confident on the particular subject. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I took that VP, uh, VP, VPE, Vice President of Education, so that time I planned to speak with uh, everyone to ask their problems and uh, mm -hmm. uh, whether they can be able to take a particular role. Mm -hmm. It makes me to uh, understand how different person, how to different approach, how I can communicate them, whether it's a WhatsApp or a phone number, uh, how they, how connect them and how get the things done. So it's really helped me for the VPE role. Okay. Next week, I can my favorite role, vice president of membership. Uh -huh. That is the role when I took for vice president of, vice president of membership in K, KTMC Koramula Toastmaster Club. Uh -huh. Every week I used to get call from people. They used to ask about what is the Toastmaster. Okay. Everybody everybody have a different different uh, expertise. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I used to speak for at least two to three strangers every week. Wow. I ex used to explain about them for what is Toastmaster and uh, invite them. Also, I can't ask them for uh, also vice president membership. I have to be care about my members also. It's my yes. job not only for onboarding them into the club. I have to check them how frequent they are there. So these are the things my VPE and uh, uh, VPM gave me so much of uh, uh, people skill brought me. Mm -hmm. President, this, if you are all six officers are good, all are all are sync with you. President role is very touching. You see, there are, what I learned from president role that how to manage the conflicts. Sometimes my one officer from Mars, one from different. So how I can communicate each other. Uh, also, I, as a president, I have to be very careful on that. that uh, careful on that my teammates, how they are doing, whether they are burnout or not. Yes. So this really helps me when I handle the team in my company. Hmm. 
So automatically, that things comes automatically about uh, how to fill on their other people's shoes. Absolutely. Right. Correct. Yeah. So these are the major roles help me. Next club officer that SAA, uh, the SAA whole SA have to speak at least one minute for every meeting and yes. how to introduce president. Uh, so that really helps me to speak, uh, prepare for something at 30 seconds or one minute. Also, how the different way to introduce my president. So <laughs> these are the skills I can say. Uh, treasurer, obviously, for that money, how to handle the money and budget yes. other things. Yeah, ah. these are the things I different take away from uh, different roles. Yeah, I'm still learning. Because when I was VPE with a different president, I have different experience. Because I was worked with at least six presidents in uh, uh, Toastmaster community in different clubs. All six, uh, every president have a different, different uh, way of working style. Working style, um, yes. Yeah, great learning. I'm looking forward to my next president out there. Sure, sure. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah, that's really good. And we just came to know that about, uh, despite you being, I mean, busy with your work, of course, you have your office work. How do you keep a balance between your work life? I mean, uh, when you're working in Accenture and also about Toastmasters, how do you balance yourself between both of them? Won't uh, sometimes it will be stressful, more of a stress or something like that. How do you balance it? What's your secret? Okay, so this one is uh, very difficult to answer. But uh, so one thing I, I what I learn thing, uh, suppose if one hour I'm going to delegate something, I'm much very much called uh, very much in uh, very much uh, stick with that one hour, whether uh -huh. it's postmaster work or else uh, my essential work or else if I'm going family, I'm going with family somewhere. So I will be very sincere on that one hour. But how I was managing my timing yeah. um to be honest i reduced my uh pinch watch after this commitment so earlier oh. i used to watch uh, uh, so much of uh, binge watches about in uh, weekend it's hardly it's used to go for pinch watches um so now i was balancing time that time to uh, toastmaster and uh, other activities so time management you, you have to be very clear on that based on your team timing um, in my company i was very clear on that uh, okay this is my commitment definitely i will do sometime if i wanted to go, go for my toastmaster work i de definitely tell okay i have to be i have to do something my personal definitely i will take care on that in my uh, after 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock so at the same time i will i will complete my work even i come i complete it so it's it's automatically make your boss okay. I think whatever I think Pandey Rajan can complete. Uh, so that initial sync up, how to do, you have to uh, make it you in your company. Also in Toastmaster, also I'm not going to do everything. Uh, I I used to delegate my work to my team also in Toastmaster. Uh, if you see in my we are advancing president, I used to tell clearly about a hey, this week I have to complete for. Uh, uh, these are the things we have to go. We have to plan for a linkers meeting. We have to uh, plan for club contest. Okay, for that, okay, create poster for you know, my VPPR Rajat. Uh, for uh, uh, for arranging that meeting, okay, Nikhil. If you go for in Nagar Bavi, also same thing. In logistic manager, even I'm not taking everything. At the same time, I have the team uh, also. Uh, Udanka used to help me, so I never hesitate to um, ask help to other people. That is very much important. So yes. when you are when you are taking uh, multiple things, uh, you are always very you always open to uh, ask help because few things I am not an expert. Mm -hmm. Even my company also I am sometimes I am not a good on uh, some particular area. I ask help. Okay, I am not a good enough on that. Uh, would you someone help? You are Toastmaster also. Uh, I am not a good in uh, postal creation. I will ask Udanka. Could you please help on that? Um, even I sometimes I will clearly I will ask to my media also. Yeah, I think I may need this help. Okay, so that communication right. is very much important. If I was summary here, I mean you have to plan your day. Okay, from what time to what time you are going to involve for postmaster? Okay. What time to what time you are going to uh, involve on uh, work? Involve on in office work. At the same time, you should be very 
clear. If you are unable to make it, you can clearly inform because last three days I was occupied with some other personal thing. I clearly communicate to my team, uh, my dependencies. Hey, I think uh, next three, four days I, I will be on on and off. Uh, don't expect anything from me. Okay, good, good. So that's nice. You should be very uh, honest. You should be for very clear. Okay, I can't do it this time. Someone can do. It's nothing because we are helping in especially in Toastmaster also. Yes. Even company correct. also, we can uh -huh. tell very clearly. I think I can't do now, so I okay. can uh, uh, do some alternative. So wonderful. Uh, this is my personal take. It may be work out for. Uh, uh, may work, may not work out for everyone. Uh, Absolutely. So, this is a, it's working for me so far. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for letting us know that how to have a work-life balance, which is important in today's scenario. To all the viewers over there, let me tell you, we have a special guest over here who is one of the seasoned Toastmasters in District 121. If you have tuned in right now and watching this video or the audio podcast uh, in YouTube, so uh, we have a special guest uh, his name is Toastmaster Pandya Rajan, and he has won multiple awards. He's one of the uh, that eight gems, right? One of the eight gems in District 121, holding the position of uh, one of the top position uh, for logistic manager. And he has many other things in his uh, in bucket. So uh, we we were just speaking about the work life balance, and he clearly specified how you need to do a lot of planning. Uh, and a lot of um, main thing he talked about the time management, which is pretty important, right? We, all of us fail. We try to do multiple things at a time and we are not able to achieve it. In, even in case he's not able to do it, he just uh, calls the person in and around and just tells that I'm not able to do it. Please take care of it. And that's how everything keeps going. And uh, I do see that you have already uh, reached uh, being the area director, you have already you have already achieved being the division director, also in the top eight. So, what's your next uh, leadership role? Are you thinking of getting to the top, like a uh, district director or you know, uh, like uh, uh, other big roles, right? Uh, yeah, it's my, <clears throat> leadership is my one of the aspirations in uh, in Toastmasters fraternity. Yeah, definitely I will I will have the plan, but uh, right now I don't offer any plan. Uh, so definitely I will be here in uh, Toastmaster. I always ready to help for uh, uh, all Toastmaster, uh -huh. whatever I think people expecting from me. Um, sometimes more than role, without role also, we can achieve a lot uh, for uh, Toastmaster community. It's not only for Toastmaster, even, yes. even other places also. Uh, wherever you are, we are volunteering. Yeah, Correct. definitely I can't uh, because I that's nothing in my hand about uh, what I can do for next year or next next year. Absolutely, definitely I will be continue in uh, Toastmaster and paternity. I always ready to serve. Yes, I wonderful, can. wonderful. That's really nice, and it's really true that I have been observing you for the last one and a half years. I've seen you uh, right from the day one at Nagarbavi Toastmasters Club. How you welcomed me and various other people over there, and uh, everybody's great broad opinion is that you are a humble gentleman. Even though, despite being in such top position, you are humble. You take things lightly. Maybe there are ups and downs. You take things lightly, and uh, you want everybody to everybody in your team. I mean, you don't want anybody to let out. Uh, th that's what I keep hearing from people. You are, I mean, to say people who can see you as a great leader, just like, you know, people say they need examples. So you are the true example, what I have seen for last one, one and a half years. So that's really nice. Uh, Toastmaster Pandya Rajan, sir. And here, there are many viewers over here who are non-Toastmasters. Maybe they are just watching this, something related to Toastmasters. Uh, two of them are speaking over here. So what's your message to... Uh, to the non-Toastmasters who want to join this uh, Toastmasters International and why should they join this, in short? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh -huh. so Non-Toastmasters, um, it's a Toastmaster is a very good platform to improve not only for communication, your confident level. Um, this Toastmaster is the place you can uh, try whatever you want. Even if you want to try some thesis, okay, before you want to deliver uh, to your office, or else something is very crazy, you feel okay whether it will work out or not. Let's you try in uh, Toastmaster. 
you know, Toastmasters is the place you will get for very positive, at the same time, very constructive feedback. In the Toastmaster, I never met anyone for, well, negative. You will get for at least something good from them. We no need to uh, worry about uh, what they live and well. One right. good thing after it become Toastmaster, because of doing that evaluation, in evaluation, you have to be motivated a speaker. Yes. Um, sometimes the speaker is not so good. Um, you have to find that some good thing from special his mm -hmm. or her speech. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's gave me automatically a lot of positive thoughts. Even if I will speak with some person or something, people will tell about a lot of negativity, but I always started to see for that positivity. Yes. Correct. Even the last two, two years, there are a lot of downs in my company. Everybody was negative mindset, but I was super cool. And uh, it's automatically from my mouth, it comes to all positive things. One person is telling very clearly, I think you are the Toastmaster. That's why you are very optimized. <laughs> this, Positive. This is, to be honest, it's unintentionally I spoken everything. Correct. I, I did not uh, make everybody feel good or else, but I always it makes me for a lot of positivity from Toastmaster. Yes. So that is a message I wanted to tell to non Toastmasters sure. uh, for <laughs> purpose of joining Toastmasters. Wonderful, wonderful. You mentioned about uh, uh, how your own development is happening and especially uh, Toastmasters are known for feedback. So yes, people should join here for getting a honest feedback, right? As they say, uh, feedback are the breakfast for the champions. And that's truly uh, I too have seen in my uh, journey too. Uh, I do understand that Toastmasters is, uh, I mean, it was started in 1924 and today we are in 2024. So uh, I would like to, yeah, you can power on the light, no problem. I think there is a power failure from your end. Uh -huh. And uh, I do understand that uh, Toastmasters are, is completing 100 years. So I would just like you to focus on, means uh, about this 100 years of, uh, I mean, celebration, which Toastmasters is doing right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I am very glad to part of this hundred year, hundred years of. Uh, can you be a bit louder? Uh, that, mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, good, good. Yeah, so I am very glad to be uh, the part of that hundred years of organization. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we all are excited about uh, to celebrate our hundred hundred years uh, journey in that Toastmaster, mm -hmm. uh, because lot of legend, lot of stalwarts are uh, this Toastmaster fraternity provided lot of legends, stalwarts, so who always yeah. helping for each other. We have no one for getting any single money or something also. So all are spending their own time and they be a mentor, uh, be a contest chair, be the evaluator, be sometimes the be a simple audience in the contest. Absolutely. At the same time, we all are getting for some good positive feedback and other things. That's mm -hmm. why I'm so excited about be part of this 100 uh, year are going to master. Wow. Great, great. Nice to see you that uh, you and myself too, of course, uh, a part of Toastmasters and this organization, a non-profit organization, which is completing 100 years and to be associated with such big company, I mean, for such big organization to be the right term, uh, right word uh, that to Toastmasters International, it's really proud. Uh, coming to the, uh, uh, I would like you to uh, just, let me know any any of your favorite book which has motivated you in this uh, public speaking journey or communication or leadership journey. Would you like to say something about that one book which has motivated you a lot? Uh, so to be honest, I'm not reading uh, uh, much book. I used okay. to collect a lot of books um, mm -hmm. I, because I usually read people that good work from that I already I uh, keep influence from people more mm -hmm. than books but however there is a story of my experiment with truth is Mahatma Gandhi's uh, book biography yeah you though I, I know the book in uh, yeah uh, that book I read in my mother tongue only in Tamil I think very long back but mm -hmm. there is a one best book I can say um, uh, before reading the book I am 
I don't have much good opinion about uh, Mahatma Gandhi because a lot of controversial. But when I started to read the book, uh, there are a lot of small, small changes myself. It's happened about, from that book. That is one of the best book I can say uh, in my life uh, on that. But wow. leadership and other things, I just got from you know, in, uh, my fellow Toastmaster, like, you know, uh, Distinguished Toastmaster, uh, Vanita, so Arjun, uh, and those people that are like a couple of um, good leaders, they, they passed away during the COVID time. But when I started to grow with them, so how they are helped me uh, for growing. Okay, so I wanted to uh, give back whatever I can do. That is something for uh, I inspire from people more than book and for this Toastmaster and leadership journey. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, you spoke about uh, Mahatma Gandhi's uh, auto uh, autobiography, uh, the book which you read in your own language, right, Tamil, and then you also spoke about uh, the great leaders, one being uh, Toastmaster Vanita Ma'am. Uh, I would like to know who is your mentor and how mentorship uh, in Toastmasters helps a new person joining in to get to the next level. Yeah, I have a lot of mentor in my throw of my uh, Toastmaster journey. Uh, journey. My first mentor, uh, her name is Toastmaster Danuja. Uh, she is a very good English orator. She is a grammarian. is a is a teacher, teacher. Uh, English teacher. They in Koramangla they found okay I have to improve my basic English communication so she used to correct my script and everything she used to suggest me uh, where I can um, put for right word for right format she Absolutely. helped me for uh, for my basic English writing skills at least okay. six months we work together at least weekly two hour and we have uh, she helped me for that basic so afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Vanita, Distinguished Toastmaster, uh, Vanita Rangarajan, mm -hmm. uh, she found me in my, before my, before I be, become area director, she gave me opportunity for contest chair, first ever district 121. So wow. from that, actually, she keep on motivate me, motivates me in during my uh, Toastmaster journey, area director, division director. So even the VR advance uh, president also. Also, sometime distinguished Toastmaster Arjun used to give uh, some suggestion for me in leadership. Wonderful. One more person, distinguished Toastmaster Arun Ramaratinam. So currently he came to me and he told, okay, where I have to improve uh, in my communication. Mm -hmm. It's make me for good as a leader. Uh, so these are the people, main people in my journey. Yeah, there are a lot of people distinguished source master, Pratik, uh, even uh, my couple of, even I can say my fellow, my even Nikhil also, I can say he also gives a lot of good suggestion yeah. where, I, where I can improve. In Toastmaster, master, there is no limit for mentoring. Everybody will give good advice to other people improve. This is Absolutely. the way I think Toastmaster, the best part in Toastmaster, evaluation and mentor. Uh, yes. You can't find these two aspects anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, other yes. other places. Yes. Okay, you can get for good communication, grammar, everywhere. But the evaluation and mentor. So here, wow. mentor will disturb you and uh, hey, what's mm -hmm. happening? They will keep chasing you and uh, they will uh, get the thing done. You have to improve this place. Absolutely. That is the beauty of mentor in Toastmasters. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, today, we got a great message over here from uh, none other than Toastmaster Pandya Rajan, sir, who spoke about his mentorship journey, how he was mentored and he being a mentee, even till date, he has a couple of mentors over there and in different stages of his life, even right now, he takes a lot of suggestions and his mentors chase him saying that do this and do that. It's really nice to know. And the two good things which you spoke about is one about uh, being uh, getting good evaluations in Toastmasters. And secondly, you talked about mentorship. Yes, I completely agree with you with the little knowledge I have about Toastmasters that yes uh, till date I find that uh, you won't be getting such a great evaluation and also the mentoring uh, anywhere on this planet maybe 
need for any other organization or nonprofit organization. Thank you very much for the input, what you're giving us and uh, being tuned with us this afternoon, uh, uh, Pandey Rajan, sir. Uh, just we are going to almost the end of this podcast. Uh, I would like you to uh, say if you have any slogan, like uh, a one word slogan or a one line slogan uh, for all of them over here. Just a takeaway, something like that, mm -hmm. about Toastmasters. Um, in, in short, think what my suggest? Mm -hmm. uh, stick with basics and try put to a hundred percent effort. Okay, stick with basics and give your hundred percent on whatever you want to. Yes. Just be focused on that and give hundred percent for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and because as a football is... fan, I was uh, sometimes in, if you want to win the big game, you should be, stick with basics, you should not do for any small mistake. So, Absolutely. I will just echo the same. Absolutely. Uh, I completely agree with you. Yes, if you want to go with that big, uh, this thing, you need to be strong on your basic. That's how you get to the next level. And uh, Toastmaster Pandya Rajan, sir, if, you, if somebody wants to connect with you personally, how can they connect with you? Can you help us with your social media handle or your email address so that anybody who is viewing over here and they want to connect with you since you have uh, uh, won many awards, rewards, and you are on the top eight of this District 121 for this 23-24, people will definitely like to connect with you and uh, for you to become their mentor or maybe guide in some way or the other in different roles and positions which you're almost taken from right from the bottom to the top. Uh, how can they connect with you? Yeah, I am available for almost all uh, social media platform. I already shared to you. So mm -hmm. I have my link tree profile. So I'm mm -hmm. part of WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, LinkedIn also. Mm -hmm. uh, so any, any channel you can connect with me. So I will do. Okay. So uh, the, the one which I have, can I share that to the viewers over here? Would that be fine with your public? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yes, uh, so yes, he's available in Linktree. It's spelled as L-I-N-K-T-R, period, that is a dot, and E-E -E forward slash Pandya Rajan, which is spelled as P-A-N-D-I-A-R-A-J-A-N-R. Uh, so -R -A -A -R. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, when they will connect, when they click that Linktree, they can see all my uh, social media handlings. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and once you click on this uh, link tree uh, forward slash Pandey Rajan R, you will be able to see all the social media handle of Toastmaster Pandey Rajan. Uh, that would be really nice. And depending upon your feasibility, if you're good in, uh, I mean, in Instagram, you can go ahead and check, uh, connect with him through on Instagram or on Facebook or maybe on LinkedIn, right? And that's really nice. Thank you very much for being with us uh, this afternoon, Toastmaster Pandey Rajan. So we are almost into around uh, 27 minutes or so. I think uh, it shows me around 30, 33 minutes over here. That's fine. Around 30 minutes plus. So you could have chosen to, um, you know, to spend time with your family members. You could have uh, gone for a movie or something like that. But still, you chose to be with us and you stayed committed and i really appreciate that despite being busy with uh you know with the district leaders and uh, multiple tasks i do understand that you chose to be with us and we are thankful to you from nagarbavi toastmasters club of course you are one of the sponsors for this nagarbavi toastmasters club you are the backbone for this club because without you i think we all would not exist so thanks for giving us an opportunity i think uh yeah i should be thankful to you in every way possible because you take care of almost every uh, all the dimensions of all the uh, seven excom leaders and i do see you as a great personal leader thank you very much and yeah, keep motivating all of us, all such uh, new people like us, so that they also become better in their communication skills, leadership skills, and also public speaking skills. Uh, before we end this podcast, do you have any other message for maybe the total Toastmaster fraternity or anybody else? Any other message? So thank you very much, for uh, Pradeep, for giving the wonderful opportunity for me. Uh, it's a great uh, to be part of this podcast there are a lot of personal uh, thing also because uh, this is my first podcast part of the podcast it's really helped me to to understand uh, that screen presence and other things also 
for for message to all toastmaster non toastmaster thing uh, stay positive and be proud about uh, how we are here and uh, be proud we are how we are safe here and uh, how we are getting all food and uh, how we are uh, going to bed without an empty uh, stomach so we should be very uh, feel ourselves proud proud about that um, as a everybody uh, just focus on your what is your strength yes absolutely always please compare yourself not compare to other 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 person is a very beautiful thing i used to compare my last compare to last my compare to last my birthday this birthday what i achieved wow. that is a great message i want to say to everyone uh, thank you i am not a big person to give the message but i am just sharing my thoughts that's all thank you very much sir thank you thank you very much to master pandey rajan sir for being on the show and giving a beautiful message to the world that uh, do not try to compare yourself with others just compare yourself uh, from this birthday to past birthday for the for the past 365 days what better i have done how much i have grown maybe in skill wise in knowledge wise in communication wise leadership wise uh, what best i have done so thank you very much for being on the show and we hope to have you soon back uh, maybe after uh, of a couple of months or so with more experience more expertise maybe at that time you might reach a more top level all the best for your future endeavors and take care thank you sir Thank you. Bye. Thank. Bye. Bye, Pandurajan sir.